Sorry, my camera accidentally. No. But yeah, too many falls. Can't. And then in the gate, it's in the Spanish. In the gate, it's Spanish. I'm showing oh fudge. <laughs> I know. My mom didn't like it. She's like, that's kind of weird. That oh fudge is that little pass with, you know? I'll go show you because actually I need to update the website or my thing because I showed her little breed card. But what happened is I showed it when I printed it out in orange. Where is it? It's like in my closet. <laughs> Don't look in my closet. My closet literally is so messy. But, um, this is what the original card was. Because I tried printing it out on orange cards talk. And my mom warned me and I didn't listen. But she has two pretty bad like flaws um, right there. You can kind of see. And then she has like kind of something going on with her ear but i decided to ignore that and my shelf is getting dusty again ew i just literally yesterday i wiped down my shelves and oh literally i should call one of these dust lord but i don't want to steal that from the vanity brothers but yeah here it is this is the breed card um i don't want to read it out loud but i guess i will the colombian paso final i couldn't decide if i wanted to show him as a colombian or a puerto rican Paso final, but I decided Colombian because I don't know why. If she doesn't show well as a Colombian Paso final, I'll show her. Or it's a her, not a he. Sorry, I said he. If she doesn't place high enough, then I'll try showing her the Puerto Rican next time because technically you, these guys have like really long names and she doesn't. And she looks like she has a smooth gait. These guys, well, you'll just see. It says, a Paso Fino is a mix of a couple of different breeds, Barb, Spanish, Jeanette, and Andalusian. This horse is considered the smoothest riding horse in the world. The Paso Fino breed originated in Colombia and Puerto Rico. The specific Paso Fino is known for its more rapid and piston-like act action compared to the Puerto Rican Paso Fino. I stole that from Wikipedia. That's why it's in, you know. I didn't steal all of this. I just stole the rapid and piston-like action thing. Um, the Colombian Paso Finals ideal height is 13.39 to 14.57 hands high, and it co and come in different colors, including gray, black, dun, chestnut, roan, brown, and bay. I couldn't find, like, roans or duns. Like, I found one dun, I think. But we have a brown, an almost black, but a really dark bay. And then I was able to find a picture of a gray one, which is cool. And, yeah. I actually remember this picture, I think. I saw... I think I've seen DJB Studios or Briar Trot use this picture for some reason. But, yes. Also here, you guys can screenshot or something if you actually want to read this. Please don't steal these cards, though. Please don't steal. If you, like, copy one picture, that's fine. But please, please, please don't steal this. Like, it's not good, so I don't know why you'd want to steal. But please, I'd be, like, really angry. But... I found these pictures of the American Sugar Brush Draft Horse. I think it's a Sugar Brush, not Sugar Brush. So that was a typo. So I may have to reprint it again, which really sucks because I printed it out twice. But next and last, oh, yeah, you already saw it, is Carmen. I'm showing Carmen as an Appaloosa. Just an Appaloosa. And I think she can actually place. Judges seem to like this mold. The only big flaws are like a bunch of like paint missing from her tail, but it actually kind of blends in in the picture. So yeah, this is my show string. And next time I enter a photo show, I should have that little pony probably. You can't, it's not focusing. It's not focusing. I should have this guy in my show string and then that guy. And then I also should have, I don't have it printed out yet, but I should have Fighter and Survivor, Better Than Revenge, Gascon the Great, maybe All in a Day's Work, maybe Miss Independent, one of the surprise horses, and an Athean Lady, or two. I'll just choose which one I like better, but that's pretty much it, guys. And also, I may have a Wild Things. If you guys are watching and you want a Wild Things, but you didn't buy tickets for Briarfest, I may be buying two of them to sell second hand so if you guys are interested contact me somehow through my youtube channel 
And if anybody's getting an edge of glory or sorry, not sorry, that they would like to trade, please tell me because um, if I get a Miss Independent, I'd love to trade my Miss Independent for your edge of glory or sorry, not sorry, as long as it's still glossy and the original variation. So yeah, sorry, that was random. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. Thank you for the subscribers. I went from 87 to 91. I'm not going to lie, I did subscribe on one of my um parents youtube accounts so technically i only gained three subscribers but i'm still really really happy with that so thank you to everybody who subscribed because it's slow progress but my last two shirts got over 100 and i'm so happy about that because i kind of went through a dry phase like one of my shirts like literally got only three views like it's a brutal out here <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching this long video if you skip through some of it i don't care thanks for watching anyways even if you didn't watch all of it, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Have a good day, guys. Bye.